The Gear S2 was one of the most highly anticipated devices of 2015. Samsung has revamped the theory of smartwatches with this new Gear S2. It's a fully Tizen power smartwatch with a round bezel and few out-of-the-box thinking features. The Gear with its elegant design and robust performance is very well the best smartwatch to currently turn in the market. When designing wearables, companies seem to take one of the two approaches. The traditional way of aiming at a sporty look or to blend in with luxury watch segment. The Gear S2 holds a couple of versions that are currently available in the market. The classic edition featuring a more conventional design and the original version trying to put all that aside for a more durable and desirely sportier look. The watch is made up of silicon bands and the band uses a proprietary connector to connect to the stainless steel body, which leads to the change of the band with any good looking stock or custom made bands. There are a couple of buttons on the right side of the stainless steel body which helps you to go to the home screen, going back or directly navigate to the menu screen. The device also holds a very determined heart rate sensor on the back of the watch. Oh wait, a rotating bezel? These guys have really put a lot of thought into the design. The bezel rather than just being an additional design layout, it acts as an interaction point with the watch, thereby letting you to quickly navigate through the S2's menu and screens. The bezel makes a clicking sound as it rotates, so you're not just spinning it but moving it incrementally. This makes it even easier to navigate through long list of the menus. When you reach the top or the bottom of your menu, you'll get a haptic feedback. Overall, the Samsung Gear S feels pretty nice on the wrist and considering the weight, the gear tends to weigh only around 51 grams, which is pretty decent for a smartwatch. In a long line of odd choices with regards to the smartwatch design, Samsung has got it finally right. And according to me, it's one of the most well-designed smartwatch trending the market right now. The next most attractive add-on to the Gear S2 is its display. The Gear S2 has a fully circular 1.2-inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 360x360 360 producing a very high pixel density of 302 pixels per inch. The display looks pretty awesome with high saturation level and colors do look more real on this display. The screen is surrounded by a very thin on-screen bezel but it's so thin that's hardly even noticeable. Even though there is no auto adjustment to be found, the brightness of this screen is more than enough in most situations without needing to be at the highest level. No wonder Samsung has kept AMOLED as a key signature feature in its gadgets. The AMOLED has purely adopted to the trend of pixel adaptation by making the colors even more viable, the edges are sharp and no pixel loss. The Gear S2 will work with any Android device running Android 4.4 and above. The S2 is powered by 1GHz dual core processor and 5 MB of RAM. Those specs might look somewhat parallax when looked upon, but they are in line with the current generation of wearables. And it's more than enough to keep the experience running nice and smoothly. It is important to note that the Gear S2 works with standard Google APIs for apps such as Dialer and Text Messaging. So if a third-party app uses non-standard API, they might not work with the Gear S2. Now let's take a look at the software. The Tizen OS UI acts as a great add-on to the Gear by making the display look even more viable and colorful. I feel it's a great choice for the device. It simply wouldn't be possible to navigate Android Wear with a rotating bezel. Because in the developer's perspective, it's going to be a lot of work on making the bezel and Android Wear interact with each other. Now as for the major concern of all the users is the battery life. Battery life continues to be a major pain point for many smartwatches. So it's great to see that the Samsung boasts 2-3 to three days per charge. With my usage pattern, with multiple messages and mails, I've always been able to get at least 2 days out of the Gear S2. The Gear S2 is powered by 300mAh power battery which might not seem particularly large but is more than enough to deliver excellent battery life. Most OEMs quote that the maximum battery life of a smartwatch can attain and most fail to deliver on their marks. But the Gear S2 is a complete surprise in this case. The Apple Watch is quoted as all day battery life but is actually only capable of 18 hours. The Gear S2 also provides a power saving mode which will drop you to a grayscale watch phase, kill Wi-Fi, limit performance and only let calls, notification and messages through. If you need your watch to last for several days rather than just 1.5 to 2, this is great. But it kills the fun of a smartwatch, just like power saving mode on smartphones too. The only drawback about this smartwatch is that it has limited application support. But this fact will pretty change in the near future. Over the past 2 years I've been able to experience almost all the smartwatches that have been offered to the market. But I would say this stuff is the best of them all. And it's really worth every penny that you spend on the smartwatch. Either way, thanks for watching. Yours truly Droid Sector. Are still this life.